India reports four COVID-19 deaths from Punjab. Positive cases of novel coronavirus in India reach 197. State government declares 3 lakh rupees compensation each to 140 households of Chasat village. Security beefs up in Kamjong district after the March 16 Chasat village tragic incident. Victim villages in despair with no roof over their heads. Court grants bail to five unarmed NSC and IM cadres arrested by 34 Assam Rifles Maram Battalion during frisking operation at Paumata area. And Desam and Ames produced two miscreants allegedly involved in both in class and examination question leakage. Hello and welcome to Impact News. You're watching Primetime English News. I'm Joyce Rivusham with the top stories and the latest news at this hour. India reported its fourth COVID-19 deaths today with a man in Punjab who passed away on Wednesday tested positive for the disease. The 72-year-old had returned from Germany via Italy a fortnight ago and died at a hospital in Punjab's Navanshar district after severe chest pain. The novel coronavirus cases in India rose to 197 with 28 new positive cases today. The virus has affected 2,27,495 people worldwide, out of which 85,961 people have recovered and 9,303 people have died. COVID-19 has killed 3,245 people in China alone. 2,978 in Italy and 1,284 people in Iran. <clears throat> State government has declared to provide 3 lakh rupees compensation each to 140 households of Chasad village whose houses were set ablaze recently. According to a reliable source, a state cabinet meeting chaired by Chief Minister Nongthomba Biren today resolved to grant the compensation amount. The meeting also resolved to provide 1 lakh rupees to households with minor damages. The compensation will be given on installment basis with its major portions laid out first. After the tragic incident at Chasad village of Kamjong district in the wee hours of March 16, CRPC section 144 has been imposed at Kamjong district headquarters and security has beefed up to avoid any further unwanted incidents. Victim villagers are in despair with no roofs over their heads. Impact News PCR Director Saikom Ruben and camera person Yohen Arambam bring you a report. Security has beefed up at Jasad village in Kamjong district after the March 16 tragic fire incident in the village brought on by land controversies with a neighboring village. Top officials led by ADG of Manipur police are keeping a strict vigil at Jasad village to avoid any further mishaps. The fire burns down around 150 houses and the only school of the village which caters to around 360 students called Linkim Memorial Academy. Wabadi yam waie hewa tare. Hewa di jumma yam chakrabani na. Ati ati dagi relief. Kika ekhu ki damak pang bi yam la arasuka. Ekhu ya dum waie jum lay dabani na. Sida station tower ga lay dabani na. Ro chak chawa ising thakba ahan nupi angang si yam lay. Asi singi singi. Uh, 
Around 700 villagers were rendered homeless in the aftermath of the incident. They are currently taking refuge at Cookie Baptist Convention Center Church, Tassert, and at the office of Eastern Cookie Chiefs Association. Many generous people and CSOs of the state have started extending relief materials to the victim villagers. Social activist Ngachonmi Ramshang has donated 100 bags of rice, two bags of pulses, two bags of potatoes and 102 blankets. He appeals to the people of the state not to incite a communal issue out of the incident. The social activist appeals to everyone to extend cooperation in bringing normalcy in the village. Shumayana yamna inhuman oiba thodok tokani have a expectation kana shulai ramoyna thaje. Mayamna changa ga support to raga okay punna himi na bagi lambiya ma thina ba. Haduga Mang hiba port mayam si shemgat mina ba hai bisi, akoi mayam chang mina raga how mina si hai bisi akoi ki appeal to zake, akoi ki sasad ki responsible wherever leaders mayam, neighbouring ki community ki leaders mayam the worries hai, akoi ki darka hoy ba government the appeal to bhi aba, ado ki individual akoi kari pang bhi aba hai bisi, akoi khanda raga am thuna resettle to na ba hai bisi akoi khanda kare. Victim villagers have appeals to the government to rebuild their houses and to take necessary security measures for them. They also appeal to the authorities concerned not to let such incident occur again in the state. <laughs> For Impact News reporters like Om Ruben and camera person Arambam Yoihan, this is Joyce Rewusham, Impact News, Chasat Village. Meanwhile, Communist Party of India, Manipur State Council has criticized the state government of bringing on the Chasat Village incident by failing to provide adequate security personnel to Kamjong district for being a district. The party has also demanded the government to provide relief materials to the victim villagers at the earliest. Speaking to media at CPI office in Iravad Bhavan today, party secretary L. Sotin Kumar condemns the incident which destroyed houses, vehicles and personal belongings. He said that a team of CPI has visited the affected area. He said a police personnel of the area are not well equipped. He also criticized the district administration for failing to take necessary steps till date. El Sotin, Sotin Kumar further asked the three years old BJP led state government why it failed to notice the underdeveloped condition of Kamjong district. El Sotin Kumar said it is not the time to wait for the report of the fact finding team but to arrange necessary relief materials for the victims. Me on the Sabe Peck Pining Committee with Seme. Mother report Nive in a Kandaro. The Sigi Saitagisu, Yumkaya, Majakre, Mikaya Awana Tare, Sid Hire Labour, but the Kudakta relief material, ma'am, Pinanaba, Yumkai Saganaba, Adurin, appeal the Pakton Toba, Sarkar Makadisu, Nakalani Murta, Sounder than Abama Tonabi, Mother Kandaro, Kudakta, Mang Takram, ma'am, sing the mother to Pimam Toba compensis, Darkar, Mogi, Dukan, Kan, Hamzariba, Madula Lonsen, Maduna Sing, ma'am, sit me caught Pina, Mogi, Sakri, wishing to Kudakta, Saganaba Kutanabu. district <laughs> On the other hand, Government of People's Republic of Nagalim, NSCNIM, in a press release said, blaming the NSCNIM and the Tangkul community for the Chasad incident by various cookie organizations is unfounded. The press release further said the incident would not have occurred if not for a violation of laws by Chasad villagers. It said tension arose because villagers of Kamjong were being blamed for setting a blaze of paddy fields by unknown miscreants. Kamjong Ukrul Road was blocked and because their truck and petrol pump was set ablaze. BJP Imphal Central District 
carried out a coronavirus awareness campaign in and around Kweramban Market today. Campaigners handed out leaflets on protective measures against the pandemic disease to passers-by. Taking part in the campaign, President of BJP, Fal Central District A, Punya Banta, said similar campaign will be launched at other markets of Imphal City, especially at Singjamai, Lamlong and um, Palace Compound areas. Pitribida was the key pandemic when a wall held orange out of Kanaba, Koji, Corona, Virus, Koji, Nobel, Covid 19, and Jukana River, Hariba, Satiriba, Mexidegi, Akwena, Jacinta Halakotava, Koji, Miam, Tim of Hom Haiga, the Koi, Imaka Hills and Laxas, and Koi, Bishop in Palace, the District, Central District, Tim Timpunduna, Akoi, Sumer Awareness Program, Mazama, and Topo Laxavani. Akwena, she came upon Ipai Katel de Lore, Matunga, Akwena, Singjama, Amazon. Government has made available quarantine and isolation facilities for control and prevention of the anticipated risk of potential spread of COVID-19 for Imphal West District at HRD Academy, Gari Awang Lekai, Imphal Valley Academy, Gari Maka Lekai, Unico School Maitra Makalekai, Herbert School Changangai Uchekon, Extra Edge School Ghari Awanglekai, Shiza Hospitals and Research Center at Langol, Raj Medicity at North AOC Imphal Hospital and Imphal Hospital and Research Center and at uh, Sky Hospitals Rims Road. All Zirbam United Club Association and District Health Society Zirbam also jointly organized one day awareness program on COVID 19 at Champak Nagar. Community Hall in Champanagar of uh, Zirbam District today. Doctors of uh, Zirbam CHC gave awareness to people about COVID-19 and on effective ways of wearing face masks to ward off the disease. Pradhan of Dibong Gram Panchayat R.K. Nobin Sana, Ajuka President Mutum Maipak Sana Mangang and President of Yaul Club Champanagar and Manikanta attended the event. Directorate of Transport has ceased issuance of learner's license for some time in the wake of COVID-19 outbreak. Taubal District suspended issuance of inner line permit from today till April 15 as a part of uh, preventive measures taken by the state government against pandemic coronavirus. Speaking to media, Assistant Commissioner of Taubal District, Dr. Polim Lenin said issuance and renewal of ILP will continue at DC complex after April 15. He also said that since the issuance of ILP on January 1st, Taubal District Administration has issued a total of 679 inner line permits and has collected a revenue of 330,900 rupees so far. Chairman of C2 Films uh, Productions, Manaubi MM, in a press release informed that the premiere show of C2 Films Productions, Manipuri feature film, Aronba Wari, scheduled at MSFDS for March 21st, has been postponed to April 11 due to coronavirus outbreak. It also informed that the special show scheduled at both for March 26 has also been postponed to April 12. Proscribed Kanglai Park Communist Party Military Council Progressive in a press release declared 15 hours general strike from 6 a.m. till 8 p.m. on March 21st, condemning the BJP-led state government for nominating titular King Leshemba Sanajauba for the Rajya Sabha elections. KCPMC Progressive also announced a permanent boycott of the titular king for standing against the wishes of the people. Now with that, it's time for a small commercial break. After the break, we bring you news on court granting bail to five unarmed NSA and IM cutters arrested by Assam Rifles. Keep watching PAC News. Welcome back after the break. You're watching Primetime English News. Five unarmed NSA and IM cutters arrested by 34 Assam Rifles Maram Battalion at Paumata area in Senapati district during a frisking operation have been released for the lack of enough 
evidence against them. Sources said Assam Rifles arrested the NSA and IM cadres on March 18 afternoon and then handed them over to the Sekmai police station. They were produced before CGM in Far East Lamphel today. The court granted them bail on PR and surety bond of 1 lakh rupees. As informed by Assam Rifles to Sekmai police, the NSA and IM cadres were travelling in a Tata Sumo for supply and reinforcement activities from Hebron camp to Ukrul. The source further said that the Assam Rifles team uh, also recovered a cash amount of 288,610 rupees from them. Investigating officer and APP of the case prayed to the court for judicial remand as there were no solid evidence. After hearing both sides, the court granted them bail on PR and surety bond of 1 lakh rupees. Student bodies, uh, Desam and Ames, uh, produced two miscreants allegedly involved in Bosem Class 10 examination question leakage before media at Desam office in Kwaketel today. The two alleged culprits are Lisam Robinson, son of Lisam Dizen from Thaubal Hauka and Atau Rahman, son of Abdul Ghani from Bora Yang B. Awang Laikai. Speaking to media, Desam Vice President Oinam Shetel said, Lisam Robinson bribed uh, Tao Rahman by, Rahman by 40,000 rupees to reveal the questions of the examination. He added that Atau Rahman contacted T.E. Paul High School's Class 10 examination invigilator Oinam Bidyanand, a son of Oinam Bioni, to reveal the questions of uh, six subjects, namely English, MIL, Maite Mayek, Social Science, Science, Mathematics and Home Science. And on the day of the examination, Atau Rahman leaked questions of the subjects by 8.32 a.m. on mobile phones. Oinam Shital said that three persons involved in the incident have been sent to jail so far. He recalled that Desam and Ames came across the leaked questions on social media and immediately informed Bosem, after which the state government formed an inquiry committee to investigate the matter. Oinam Shital expressed a suspicion of Involvement of high-profile individuals in the case. He also expressed suspicion of police supporting the miscreants, stating that Desam and Ames have formed a special committee to probe the Class 11 examination question leakage. He appeals to the state government to extend possible support. Speaking to media, Ames President Roman Kumukcham condemned a cyber crime unit under Manipur Police Department for its failure to track the miscreants involved in the case. Masi sahigi asigu mana question si kerba terobra hai begi singa ba terongani hai begi thaza ba desa mamudi emsa yamun song na pautun na lady asigu mba thong si mamutana muncah na begi damakta manipur police na sathari ba investigation si ta puksian sing ba senari ba khudi mak mara lebu sing cerak pihum tuhi kari gi damakta question jualam ba question leram ba wajani si ngasi bawa kangkalaga hadu na thamam ibu si masi kari gi no investigation gi report sing ngasi atuh bu matam da mia ma mangda putuoga mara lebu sing khudi mak kangkat payarway asu mau putrok tergadi desa mamud Amadi AMS ki siapa iba investigation tim mesina makata ana lehori ba lemahori ba class dua ab amadi eleven ki koi investigation report singsu putok sa gani adu ngasi degi nomi kranie matung da class eleven ki lik oi bisi degi matang desu oi koi miang khangna media ke mamang da asih kumur report ama putong ana ba yam nak kena siam sari Standing Committee of All Manipur Working Journalists Union, AMJU, has extended financial help to AMJU member, Impact News video editor, Ningombam Johnny, who is suffering from clavicle fracture. Standing Committee member, Internal Audit, L. Pritam, Secretary Administration, Jotin Kudrakpam, and member, Asim Bebicha, extended the monetary help to Johnny at his residence in Pishum, Ningom Lairak today. It may be mentioned that Johnny broke his collarbone while playing the cricket tournament on the last day of 10th Amju Sports Meet held from March 8 to 12. He was then admitted to advanced hospital with a collarbone fracture. Thangwebun MLA Kumukjam Joy Kishan has also extended monetary assistance to Impact News video editor Ningombam Johnny today. The MLA visited 37-year-old Ningombam Johnny, son of late Ningombam Ibo Tombi, at his residence in Pishum, Ningombam Lairak and offered the assistance.
Printing it to name it, Yagi Matosi, one other Baganda, Quitimokasi, Mogun Singal Academy. A quiggy, Prasana, Hiduk Bungam Daba, Miam, Hiduk Bungam Dabunga, Miamma, Masi, printed a little to me and a Pondropodigi, Minakum or even a quinn and knowledge lating at a printed and little to me, the Pondropodigi Madrid knowledge, the Rokoi, half the calling it in Senda, and a tract on to one film the Quipical Evening. I don't know. A quick Kudimanga, Media get a book to repay in now, Marum Pang Sing say. Makoshi category, I'm the Tambiri, I'm the respect of with the Kali. Printing an electronic media, I say, Sahalaba Ganta, Democracy Gim Hau, Silera, Sakopi, Manga Sanduni. Printing an electronic media, I say, Namzan, Akoiki, Freedom of Expression, the Mahalagri Democracy, the Late in Love was a man of revenue. I don't know Manipugi, Printing an electronic media, I see now, and Lodi, but Tudanga say, Manipu, Miam, Namunasu, support to be Hidena, Miam, but not that pretty. President of Republican Party of India, Tawale Manipur State Committee, Maheshwar Thaunaujam, also extended monetary help to Impact News video editor Ningombam Johnny today. Maheshwar visited uh, Johnny at his residence and offered the help. A WhatsApp group called uh, Kutsam Nana Tadminasi has extended uh, financial assistance to Guru Mayum Roberto, who is uh, undergoing treatment for first stage blood cancer at Janim's Hospital. The team, comprising of youths from Singjamai Wangma Ketri Lekai, extended 30,000 rupees to Roberto's father at his residence in Kongba Ketri Lekai. It may be mentioned that Guru Mayum Roberto topped uh, Kosim Class 12 examination 2019 in the Commerce Stream. Six-year-old Loitongba Martina, daughter of Gandhi Nao from Togbungkok, Mayailekai, Nepal West, was saved from drowning as a seven-year-old Loitongba Reshmi from the same uh, locality informed her family on time. Togbungkok Progressive Youth Pioneer Association in a press release expressed happiness and lauded Loitongba Reshmi for her bravery. Now with that, um, before we end, let's take a look at the headlines once again. India reports fought COVID-19 deaths from Punjab. Positive cases of novel coronavirus in India reach 197. State government announces 3 lakh rupees compensation each to 140 households of Jasad village. Security beefs up in Kamjong district after the March 16 Jasad village tragic incident. Victim villagers in despair with no roofs over their heads. Court grants bail to five Anam NSA and IM cadres arrested by 34 Dasan rifles, Maram Battalion during frisking operation at Paumata area. And the student bodies disarm and aims produce two miscreants allegedly involved in bottom class 10 examination question leakage.